Hi everyone, this is Juan from KenHub and on this tutorial we will look at the functions of the gracilis muscle which is the one you can see now isolated on the screen. Before we begin talking about all the movements the gracilis is responsible for, let me show it to you more clearly and put this muscle into some context so you become more familiar with it. Here is the gracilis muscle again, but seen head on from a medial view of the thigh. As you can see from its location, the gracilis is one of the seven muscles of the medial compartment of the thigh. Six of these muscles belong to what is known as the adductor group, which is mainly responsible for, well, you guessed it, adduction of the thigh. Just to avoid any confusion, this is ADD. -D. So adduction and not ABD, abduction. It's very easy to mix these two up. This means that contraction of these muscles pulls the thigh medially, bringing it closer to the midline of your body. Thanks to your adductors, you are able to cross your legs remain balanced while walking, swim, especially the breaststroke, and not accidentally split your legs when ice skating. That certainly sounds quite painful, so take a minute and thank your adductors for doing an amazing job. Now let's get back to the gracilis and find out more about it. Here it is once again isolated on the screen, the gracilis through and through. As you know, a muscle can't perform its functions without a proper nerve supply, and the gracilis is no exception. This muscle is supplied by the obturator nerve, which you can see highlighted in green on the screen. This nerve forms part of the lumbar plexus and arises from the second, third, and fourth lumbar segments. The gracilis is the weakest member of the adductor group and the most superficial muscle of all of them. This means that it is closest to the surface of your body with no other muscles covering it. This aspect also makes it the most medial muscle of of the thigh. According to our friend here on the screen, the gracilis is a long strap-like muscle that originates from the inferior pubic ramus and joins the pes and serinus with the two other adductors. In turn, this common tendon inserts into the superior part of the medial surface of the tibia. Let's rotate the model so we can see the gracilis from the front. And here are the same attachments once again, but seen from the frontal perspective. The inferior pubic ramus, the pes anserinus, and the superior part of the medial surface of the tibia. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and Master Anatomy.